Hi everyone and welcome back to Budget with V. Today's video I will be doing a quick cash condensing because I need to take some money back to the bank today. I was going to potentially combine this with my end of month wrap up but I think I might just separate it just because I don't have that much time today to do it. So I've got some placeholders here ready to go. I actually need let's get a sticky note. I'm just going to write on here um, as I go. So I might just do that off screen and that should be fine. So I'll just record how much I'm taking from each category. So I'm going to take, I've got some money to go back to the bank anyway. I'm going to take a couple of 50s just if I need to can oh I think that broke that envelope just to condense them down if I need to so I've got two fifties here I've got a slightly different angle today I've got it a bit wider so please let me know if you love it this or a bit closer up better <clears throat> okay so gifts doesn't have anything home is empty garden I think I condensed this already yep 25 Coffee, five. Eating out has, we did eat out once. So we've got $2.50. Okay. I'm going to leave that in there um, just because I don't think we need to condense that down to 50s. Date night. I've got 50, 70, 80, which is the least I can do. Well, the most I can do, sorry. Chloe's has five. Bulk, five. Um, five in miscellaneous. Christmas cash, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. All right, let's take that out and replace that with a 50. So we've got 55. Okay, roll it up, just has the six, and then nothing in there, so that's all good. So that one doesn't have really anything to do. Might just put that back here. Um, sinking funds. Now I know there's some in here to take. Um, future bills just has five. I did clean this off. Christmas. Now Christmas has been fully funded and it now has 500, 600, 725 and I'm going to take this 125 back to the bank and take these out I think um, just because I don't think we need that in there because we're going to be spending it. So I'm going to write that down. So 125 to Xmas. And we'll um, just leave the fully funded slip in here. And that way we can just spend Christmas out of the account. Okay, Queensland, we haven't started. Travel. Got 35, it's got five in coins. I might leave that just to leave some coins hanging around. New Zealand. New Zealand has 60. I'm gonna put 50 back into the bank. So that's got 60 in there. That's 50. New Zealand slash visiting family fund. Home maintenance is empty. Technology also has 50, 55. So I'll put 50 in the bank and put another 50 placeholder. That's 55 in tech. Just trying to get as much as possible back to the bank. 20 in new car, P, 
pet emergency. That's 220. I'm going to change these two tens for 20. So that's as much as we can do in there. And then we've got our emergency fund, which is fully funded at 5,000 at the moment. And then I've put this fitty challenge that I got one from Budget Down Under um, that I'm going to start next year. And I'll put that in this binder, which is currently empty. Okay, so next we have Future Baby Fund. So what do we have? We have 500 in the bank, 550, 570, 580, 585. Um, so I'll take another 50. So that's 550 in the bank, 585. And then can we do any more in the future maternity leave? Have Two, three, three fifty, three ninety-five. So we can't do anything else in there. So that's done as well. My binder. Okay, splurge. I have twenty left in here. I went for breakfast this morning, which was super fun. Um, and I might actually spend the rest of this money plus the money that I put aside for a new tattoo because I'm not sure if I want to get that done like very soon. It might be more of a long-term thing. I have 35 in there. So I'm going to potentially buy some new challenges with that money, I think. Shopping is empty. Spa. I might leave that in cash just because I'll pay in cash. But there's 15, so that's fine. Travel. I think I'll leave this just in these different notes because I will be um, distributing that once it's done. Oh, savings. I know I have some in here to take. So we have 100 in the bank and then 10, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So I can put another 50 placeholder in here. So it's 150, 160 in the bank. 150 in the bank. So that's 50 into personal savings. I'll put this money back. Now I do want to swap this five. Um, something I'm going to keep. So I might put it in birthday for now until I swap it back into my savings one. Let's put that one there. Okay, so that one's that binder done as well. And finally, we have my savings challenges. I don't know if there's anything in here to do. So save 500. Um, could put another 50, should I, I might, might as well, so that's 250, 270, 280, so that's another 50, Quarter four, I did change this 50 up in here. So I've got, I might leave that in these notes just to um, make sure I have enough when I distribute it. I'm going to change a 10 though to two more fives just to make sure I have enough fives in here. That one's done. Done, done, what's in here? 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 
I'm going to leave that in cash, I think. And that's fine. Okay. So that's that. Oh, I do have 50 cents to go into my coins. Just put that in. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six dollars in there now. Okay, so I'm also going to be taking back all of these coins from this challenge, but I might swap the coins from my current coin challenge, which is here, into all gold coins just so I can use it if I need to. So that's one. $2. Sorry if that's loud. Okay, so that's right. All right, so we'll put all of that back in the bank. Hey everyone, this is VoiceOver V here. I just wanted to add this um, bit in over the top of this audio just because I had a bit of a technical issue, but basically, um, we were able to save 375 that we put back into the bank. Um, the money that I actually counted up here was 475, but that was 100, including 100 from back to bank. So it was 375 plus all the coins for the cruise. But yeah, thanks everyone. And I don't think the intro also recorded. So thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you next time. Bye.